Hey, well I'm way behind on making videos. This trip was about a year ago, but I wanted to share our time in Casey, Illinois with you. This trip was one of those trips where my husband didn't tell me exactly where we were going, but when we got there, I was expecting something a little smaller than this because I was raised in a town of about of less than 3,000, but when I got to Casey, I realized that there were some pretty big things there. And they got bigger, and they got bigger, and they got bigger. Because it's known for having many of the largest items in the world. You'll see what I mean. For example, I'm told you can actually mail a letter in this mailbox. And maybe they had them. I didn't see them. But I was thinking a good tourist item for them to sell would be giant postcards fit to mail in this mailbox. I remember having a parakeet when I was a kid and we would line the bottom of the birdcage with newspaper. It would take a lot of the newspaper to line the bottom of this birdcage. It's not a parakeet, but me and my husband Seneca perched on that little swing. It was fall break when we went here and so Seneca spotted this pencil across the street and thought that I really needed to tote that home to teach all my classes. Good old number two pencil. Okay, I don't see anything here that is the largest in the world, but I was kind of intrigued by the barbershop sign, those spirals on the outside of the door. You have to admire the spirit that goes into a small town like this where everybody bonds together trying to bring some touristy touch to their businesses. Even the dollar cent store had these little minion figures. And inside there were lots of interesting things to look at and Seneca and I were even able to be kids again and take a little ride in the minion car. <laughs> I liked this sign. If you want to change the world, go home and love your family. That's good advice, but we weren't quite ready to go home yet. We wanted to explore some more of Casey, see what else was there. I believe this is supposed to be the world's largest rocking chair, but I've seen that claim in several cities, I think, of world's largest. Who knows? Only the Guinness Book, I suppose. I believe they said there were eight different things that were world's largest according to the Guinness Book of Records when we were there. Uh, there's knitting needles, there's a pitchfork, there's a golf club, there's all kinds of things. You just kind of have to go there and explore. And I wish I'd recorded the audio for you because one of my favorites was probably this giant wind chime. Really pretty when you hear it. And the gardens were beautiful. I sat in one of the gardens near the um, mailbox and did some sketching. And if you think they're through making largest, think again. They've got a whole workshop where they're working on things like this golf club and that mouse trap that you just saw. And... The people in the workshop, the gentleman that was there, was extremely friendly and willing to share information. So if you get a chance, go to Casey, Illinois. There's a lot more to see there than what I pictured here. So tell me in the comments below, what's your favorite little artsy fun place to visit? Thank you so much for watching and find our Facebook art page. It's called Studio ABC, just like the YouTube channel here. And don't forget that the C is spelled S-E-E, -E, not just the letter C. Hope to see you there. Bye-bye.